All right, good morning. Uh, we're still progressing with the uh, landscaping here. So this corner is finished now. I got all the wiring and hooked everything up. Um, I just turned it on so the uh, oil derrick is not bubbling yet. But uh, from the last video, I was asked uh, to kind of review again what the steps were and how I got this far and what I'm working on now. So I'm trying to, going back, here's some screenshots of what it originally looked like before I put in the uh, sides of the mountain and started doing the styrofoam. Uh, one of the things to make the layout you know, pop and come together is different levels. And that's why I chose to use the styrofoam that you're seeing in the pictures along here to give me that extra level. That's two inch styrofoam. Now you can get that at, it's insulating board, you can get that at Home Depot, Lowe's, that kind of stuff. So the next progression, excuse me, as I get these apart, was to cut that same styrofoam board and uh, start making the mountain face. Then I was looking at videos and discovered an easy way to give depth and that's when I switched over from carving the styrofoam to using metal screening and uh, making a mixture of Elmer's glue and water 50% and uh, after you mount the screen on the uh, board you go ahead and just uh, paint on the toilet paper and that got me to this section um, so you can see you know how it, it gave depth and it's much easier with the landscaping material that I'm using to uh, paint and sprinkle on the uh, Woodland Scenics uh, material so what I did here again give me the depth is I used the uh, this is half inch board down here along this foam board same foam board and just using a regular knife I cut this at roughly 30 to 45 degree angle and fit it in the mountain area and then it's just as uh, it's really once you uh, first thing I do is I spray paint a base color which you really almost never see it's just there but what that also does is it eats into the styrofoam a little bit so it makes it a little more porous and the landscaping material, again, is uh, I got different. I've got the coarse and the fines and the different color bases, and just sprinkling that on as I go along. <coughs> so then the well, okay, that was another shot in between, a little out of order. That was before I put the half-inch board down. So now. <coughs> transitioning toward the front of the layout and that's where I'm that's what I'm gonna be working on today uh, so no work done here yesterday I started uh, just simply using the landscape material and uh, started putting that in place so here's where I stand now after doing the corner I used a gravel roadbed between the two tracks and the rest is just woodland scheme uh, scenics material sprinkled on and feathered in to give the, the look and went all the way around. so now today what I'm doing is I'm going to do this area and get my stream going so I wanted to raise the houses up and so I cut these Two pieces of styrofoam again it's half inch board and this is just lightly sprayed with uh, camouflage paint Home Depot it's Rust-Oleum kind of stuff so I got two pieces here that were pre-made and they just kind of uh, are gonna lay in here and light up the house there and the gazebo is going to go behind it 
that and then uh, I will uh, brighten it up with road bed I'm doing that and on this side I got my house platform I'm just sticking that there for the house under construction and we'll put that down there so that's where I'm going to be working today uh, so I'm going to stop the video here I got to do the wiring and then I'll uh, come back on when I start doing the uh, scenic grass and so on. Okay, so I cleared off where uh, all the buildings are going to go and marked out where I need to put the glue. So this is just painted on Elmer's glue and I'm using the fine Woodland Scenics fine turf, earth, ground, color, and it's just a matter of sprinkling, just like that, wherever the glue is, and that's what we're doing now, and it's too hard for me to do this holding the camera, so I'm going to stop here and I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, so I sprinkled all the brown on, and now I'm going to, down here I'm going to keep it brown, but then as we come more this way, I want this to be green, kind of matching how this one was. So that'll be the next layer to put on top. Okay, so now the green is on. And that was uh, Woodland Scenics blended turf colors. So yeah, you just kind of mix it in. I still wanted some of the brown to be the highlight around where the track is. So that section is now done. Now for some more texturing, I'll put coarse turf on. That's going to be the next layer. Also, as I go this way, I will blend in a different color little or more brown just for effect okay so now that's been sprinkled on and it goes down and around and fades in that way now to lock this stuff in place I have a spray bottle and it's uh, this is the scenic cement from Woodland Scenic in here but it's it's basically just watered down Elmer's glue. Um, yeah, it's probably 30%, 70% mix, 30% glue. So keep it in place now. You just go ahead and spray this in as it goes. And I'll be right back. Okay, so the bottle sat overnight so it wouldn't spray. <laughs> so I had to go clean the tip. But here you so you're just spraying until you see a little bit of the glue puddle when it dries. It dries clear. And that's what we're doing now. I'm just going to go over everywhere that I have it down. And by the time I'm done, this stuff will lock it in place. And it takes about, you know, two, three hours to dry. Okay, so... Well, that's why this stuff is drying. I got put everything where it's going to go. And again, while it's drying, I'm going to go ahead and do the electrical work. And then once uh, the next progression is, once the electrical's done, I'll go ahead and figure out where I'm going to put some of that light in and where trees are going to go for this area between there and over here. Okay, long day, but here it is. It's all wired, the new front section's all wired up and fully landscaped. So, uh, got one of the uh, K line fishing villages with the Rhine Water, the uh, little cottage with a gazebo, got the lichen down on the wall and the uh, operating water tower so, uh, you, know, you push the button and it pumps the water down so that was today's uh, today's project 
Uh, next step is uh, going to do this section now. Get the rocket launcher and the radar tower. So I'll do this section between those two lower rails with the, in there. So, yeah, there we go for now. <laughs>